Hi, welcome back everyone. In today's video, I have a very easy and creepy makeup tutorial for you. I'm going to be recreating my creepy doll makeup look. If you like this video, don't forget to go ahead and click that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you are new here, hi, welcome, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. Okay, let's get started. Oh, and one more thing, I have already gone ahead and applied my foundation. For this look, you want a full cover foundation to cover your whole entire face. You want to look as unrealistic as possible for this one. Okay, here I am just starting off with a fluffy makeup brush and applying very pink blush to the cheeks and bringing it bringing it up towards the hairline and applying a little bit to the tip of the nose. Next, apply some eyeshadow primer to the eyelids, pat it down and now apply a light pastel pink using a medium fluffy blending brush across the whole lid. Now I am adding a medium tan brown eyeshadow above the pink eyeshadow and bringing it down under the eye and lower lash area. With the same fluffy makeup brush as before, I am now applying a champagne colored highlighter to the cheeks, nose, eyebrow bone, temples, chin and above the lip you want to make your face look as shiny as possible okay with a brown brow pencil fill in your brows the aim is to make them appear as if they've been painted onto the face. Next, apply liner to the top lid and create a small wing. Now I'm just highlighting the brow bone and inner corner of the eye using my pinky finger or you can use a small makeup brush. I'm gonna put lashes on, but I am not gonna be filming this, so I'll go do this off camera. I put the lashes on, and I realized that this one <laughs> isn't as long and fluttery as these, as this one here, so. And I had a lot of drama with my makeup, so please ignore the fact that this eyelash does not stand out as much as this one for some reason. Now you don't necessarily have to do this next step that I'm doing here, but basically what I'm doing is I'm using a light brown eyeshadow and applying it with a fluffy brush to the face, just marking out the areas of where I'm going to be placing the cracks. And next I am using my brow pencil and a thin flat liner brush to apply light outlines of where the cracks will go and then I'm going to go over the lines with a black liner and fill in the holes.
Now just apply lipstick, use whatever color you like. And later I also outline my lips using a lip liner. now using that tan brown color again going around the cracks to darken the edges of the crack area you can make this look a little bit more creepier by adding more cracks on the face you can always also enlarge the shape of the eye by applying white eyeshadow under on the lower lash area and then using black eyeliner to create a new lash line to make the eyes look larger and more animated i didn't have anything like that to do this with so i just left it as is so in the future i would love to recreate this look again maybe around halloween time or when i have more makeup supplies with me to do this look again so if you'd like to see me do this look again in the future please like this video or leave a comment down below to let me know what you think hope you enjoy this tutorial continue watching until the end and yeah Thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did please go ahead and like or comment down below to let me know and if you are new here i would love to have you here go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when i upload my next video um, off camera i did go ahead and add some highlight to the cracks you probably can see a little bit there you using white eyeshadow I just highlighted the cracks and I darkened them a little bit using some brown eyeshadow I went around the cracks with some brown eyeshadow you probably you would have seen me doing that in the video anyway and that is it I would have liked for this look to turn out a little bit better but I did the best with what I had on me at the time other than that please stay creative bye